Live from New Orleans, Louisiana, it's the Cube covering .next Conference 2018. Brought to you by Nutanix. We're here in the Big Easy in New Orleans, and last year, right at this time, it was Vmon. Happy to have the Cube there, and right now we're at the Nutanix.next Conference, but back with us. The week before his conference, Veeamon, yes. Peter McKay, president and co-CEO of Veeam. Peter, great to see you again. Great to Thanks be for here, joining us. It's uh, always great to be in front. All right, uh, a little bit less bright green uh, yeah. than, than uh, your well, you show, but uh, <laughs> your second time at this show. Yeah. Give, give us a compare and contrast yeah, uh, you know, I mean, between it's, the it, Nutanix show and yours. It's, it's, it's great to see. The ecosystem is definitely expanding. Um, it's great for us because a lot of our the relationships we've had with Nutanix has has really uh, evolved over the past year. And so part of that is the Nutanix ecosystem that we get together with and have a lot of great discussions over the two and a half days. So it's been much more impactful this year than last, but a lot of it is, comes from a lot tighter in the partnership with Nutanix as well. Sure, and that's something Keith and I heard from, from, the, from the user base. It's, their ask is you know, broaden and grow and mature that ecosystem. Mm. It was last year at the show that you made the announcement yes. of AHV coming, yes. and now it's there. So yeah, to yes, bring us inside your customers, what are you hearing from them? Why are they using it? And, and why, yeah. why Veeam? You got a nice mention on the keynote stage no, this morning. No, it was, um, it, it's good. I mean, the, the, the most important was the customers were asking for tight area integration between Veeam and Nutanix. Um, and then, you know, this started probably two years ago when Deerish came to me and said, well, we got to make a big bet together. And so, you know, I remember we were in dinner in, in New York City. He said, you got to make a big bet on us and I'll make a big bet on you. And to, that kind of sparked the partnership that we had. And now AHV was another one. And we got two or three more coming down the road that is pretty, um, pretty exciting as well as we expand. But AHV is obviously an important component that, our, that the Nutanix and Veeam customers have been asking for. Yeah, any feedback from the customers as to why they're sliding that over to AHV? Most of them, you know, VMware customers, most customers we talk to still have a mix, but yeah. you know, what are some of those drivers that are, that are pushing them in that you know, direction? I think it's a lot of the workloads are kind of uh, different, um, that's kind of conducive. I think a lot of people have tried AHV early on, a year ago or so, when it was still you know, not as mature as it is. Um, I've had a number of customers that came up and have used it for another for a year, or year and a half, and so, and now it's starting to expand. So I think they're getting more comfortable uh, leveraging AHV, and that's what's driving a lot of those customers to say, okay, I want to leverage Veeam to do that, to work together with that. So it's definitely had much more broad adoption than it's had a year ago. So Peter, let's see if we can tease out some of these future innovations between you and Nutanix <laughs> a little bit by taking a broader look. Back up super mature mar market, but there's an awful lot of excitement. There's rumors from M&A, there's plenty of investment money going around, mm -hmm. and not what I would call backup, not even what I would call data protection, but I'm, I'm labeling this um, metadata infrastructure. Yeah. Why is this market segment so important and so critical to customers in this day, in this day yeah. of digital transformation? That's a, Keith, that's a great question. And a lot of it has to do with just the, the massive expansion of data, right? I mean, data is just becoming more critical. It's growing at exponential rate. Um, it is sprawling to all endpoints, the edge in IoT. It's, becoming a major issue. So just the sheer volume, the growth and criticality of data is changing. Um, and then I think it's this, as companies are moving with kind of this digital transformation, moving more digital, the, the need for it to be always on has become like a must have. So it's, before it was like, you know, hey, I just need to back it up. And you know, then it was, okay, now I got to recover fast. Now it's about, I can never go down. Or if I do, I got to come back up fast. And so that's changed the dynamic for most of these companies that, I can't go down, the cost of it. And you had on, on the keynote today where they said, look at it, if I go down, it's $750,000 a week when it goes down for one minute. So it's, it's a lot of money, it's real dollars that now companies are looking at it saying, you know, I got to do something about it. I have to be always on. That's what we call availability, now hyper availability. It's, that market, the market is changing and that's why you see a lot of investment going in. So let's talk about that this critical relationship that you're building with the Nutanix folks, how are you guys offering a differentiated experience and value to this new era of data? 
Yeah, I think, you know, when you look at the success that Nutanix has ha had, the work, the use cases, a lot of them are sim similar in, th in that, you know, data is a big part of kind of their future and the part of that is this, this data uh, up, up, uh, refreshing of the data centers that companies are kind of migrating to new and upgraded data center. I mean, a lot of where our business has come from is that updated, the data center refreshes that all these companies are doing and a lot of them are moving off of legacy hardware, legacy uh, backup and protection solutions that are moving to more kind of current day solutions, which are Nutanix and Veeam. And so we found that we're going into the same com companies, having the same conversations, and we realized that why aren't we doing more together to do it? And so what you'll see going forward is a lot more tighter integration between the technologies and a lot more alignment on the use cases that we're going. VDI is uh, you know, backup as a service, DR as a service. Their cloud scenario, their cloud offering um, is also going to be a big part of our future as well. So let's talk about cloud in general. What's the important to your customers and shared experience? We've heard a lot from Nutanix this past week about cloud, whether it's Xi, Calm, but their opinionated view of cloud What's the Veeam Nutanix cloud story? Yeah, I think, you know, it, it, as, as Deeraj said in the keynote today, it was this, the, hybrid, the hybrid cloud, um, the multi-cloud story. In every company that we go in, you have to go in and talk a multi-cloud story. Especially back, when you're backing up or DR, you know, it's, the cloud is a great vehicle. It's a, it's a great way to kind of get started in the cloud. And so in every conversation we have, whether you're a large company, a medium or small, the cloud is always a component in that discussion. And, and Nutanix is, is the, when you hear the story, the Veeam, the Veeam value proposition and the Nutanix value proposition relative to the cloud, they're similar messages. And so we believe that companies who want to back up in the cloud, back up from the cloud, or back up between the cloud is critical for our customers. And, and, and we said a year, two years ago that you know, this is going to be a major part of our success going forward and we've invested a lot in it. Yeah, Peter, it, it's interesting because on the one hand, there's some similarities between the Nutanix message and the Veeam. Multi-cloud world's going to play across them. The other thing, Nutanix is trying to position themselves as one of the platform players. Mm -hmm. Veeam's got a long partnership with VMware. Last year, you know, real bit broad as to what you're doing with Microsoft. How, how, do, you, how do you create Nutanix? Well, they're yeah. a good partner, but yeah. you know, how are they doing in trying to be a platform a la a VMware, Microsoft, or even an Amazon? Yeah, I mean, VMware is a phenomenal partner of ours. As you know, we built our business on the backs of VMware and, sure. and uh, leveraging that ecosystem. And, and I think, look, Nutanix is doing a great job of driving what customer, what customer needs, focusing on customer success, and expanding that portfolio to the needs of what the customers are asking for. And, you know, that's kind of what we've done as well, and so we've aligned to focus on what, what the customers need to be successful. And, you know, things of you know, simplicity, you know, good ROI, uh, flexibility, agility, all the things that, that I think are what customers need uh, and what we've been positioned, what we've been talking to our customers about for, you know, seven, eight years now. So I think the message is aligned, but I think they're doing a really good job of kind of laying out that platform in a way that it's a good journey, it's a journey. It's not all here today, but this is where we're going, and here's how you can follow. So it makes it easy to partner because you kind of know what they're, what's coming and where, where our roadmaps are lying. Yeah, so sounds like aligned. Uh, there, there's always the concern. You, you know, VMware started overlapping with, with, with the backup vendors a few years ago, yep. but still a strong partnership. It, 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 there's always that co opetition angle. Yeah. How, how do you address that? I mean, look at, I mean, that's kind of the world we live in, right? I mean, there's going to be, um, there's going to be, at times, there's, there's, there's different conversations we're having every day with companies that, we, on one hand, we compete with, you know, think Dell EMC, right? And companies that you, you, you can partner with, which is also Dell and EMC. I mean, you know, HP, Cisco, NetApp, very strong partners of ours. Um, and sometimes it makes sense for us to work together and sometimes it doesn't. Um, or it makes sense for us to work with Nutanix versus, uh, you know, Microsoft or someone else. So, you know, we try to be the best uh, partner that we can. We've, we've been able to navigate this world that's very, uh, you know, a lot of overlapping technologies. And so, um, you know, we became, you know, kind of hardware agnostic, cloud agnostic, and that served us well over the 11 years. And, and, 
you know, I think it's getting more challenging. I think we're definitely going deeper with fewer. So that'll change um, over the next year or two where we're going to go deeper with number of companies because you know, that's what our customers are asking for. You know, yes, I get that, but I need to go deeper in these certain technologies. Yeah, I'm, I'm a technologist, so I'm going to ask the question, what areas of technology are they asking for specifically? I mean, backup is, again, when you look at backup, can I, can I, can I, can I store it? Can I restore it? Can I restore it granularly? And then we start to get into kind of where we differentiate between the, okay, we need to go, go look at a Veeam or a different backup solution beyond what vendors give us. Where's those deep integrations or deep capabilities that customers have asked for, for as you've been at the show yeah. this week? Yeah, it's, um, you know, every, every, Every vendor has their kind of differentiation. You know, for us, we've always focused on you know, the you know, recovery time, right? That was always kind of the fastest recovery time of anybody. And so we always, that's where we kind of built on our business on this availability up and running all the time. We also have kept it simple. You know, we haven't, we try to make it very easy to use, easy to run, easy to manage, easy to operate. And so that has been kind of the cornerstone of, of Veeam since the beginning. And we tried to make sure the ROI was you know, fast time to value, right? And so that continues to be our cornerstone. When we look at, when we look at partnerships with the new, new Tanex and, and others, it is how do we leverage those value props with theirs? Every customer is asking for keep it simple. How do you get, how do you get to value faster? And the more you can integrate with, the, the comp with Nutanix, and the easier it is that I can get one solution bundled together in, 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 uh, in my various locations. And so we've been able to do that with, uh, with Nutanix and others, and it's, it's exactly what customers have been asking for. Right. Peter, give us some of the highlights of the theme presence here at the show. You're telling us uh, the sessions were overflowing, yeah, nice I big know. booth here. Yeah, no, we're a platinum sponsor, and you know, as, as I said, an important partnership. Um, yeah, we have our, our uh, our event that's here, that's um, one of the shows, it's, I think max capacity is 500, it's overflowed, so um, that's, a, that's a good sign, but a lot of interest. You know, it's, a, it's good, because I, I actually went to the booth and hung out at the, um, and answered a lot of questions for a couple hours last night, and um, just the number of customers that most know Veeam, um, but they're asking for, okay, AHV, I want it, where's it coming, what's next, what's next, and so there's a lot of interest here. This has been, a very, very good show for us um, in not just, just getting customer feedback or prospects and, and interest, but, but also in the partner ecosystem on how they want to leverage the Veeam Nutanix relationship. So, as well as executive meetings that we have, which is always a good. Yeah, well, I, I can address you. I, I saw you with the customers in the booth here. Good to have a little warm up. Next week, I don't think you're going to have a lot of time to be sitting <laughs> in the booth. <laughs> no. So, Peter McKay, yeah. always a pleasure to catch Great up to with you. Soon. We look forward to seeing you and the team next week in Chicago for VMON. Same here. Make sure to check out thecube.net for, of course, all the shows we're at, all the ones we're going to be at, and the thousands of interviews that we've done over the years. For Keith Townsend, I'm Stu Miniman, back with lots more here. Thanks for watching theCUBE.